Good morning. <sighs> I've cried so many tears this morning alone. I had to step outside of work and catch some air. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get myself together before I start getting all cry and teary eyed. Um, my skin is a result of stress, so disregard it. The virus is real. I see it with my own eyes. It's attacking people. It is attacking people. and they gone the next. Y'all be nice to people while you got a chance. Be kind, give hugs, be sweet. These people, don't, they can't even see their family. They haven't seen their family in weeks. They dying by themselves. All they got is me. I can only be so strong. I can only comfort them so much. <sighs> but the virus takes you away from your people and nobody is there for them. <sighs> I've never seen that like this in my life. <laughs> it's taking a toll on me. <sighs> God, I just ask that you can come with <laughs> All of these people right now, God, everybody that's suffering, everybody that's going through, everybody that's dealing with somebody who has it, God, I just I ask that you can heal right now, God. Take it away. Take away the pain. Take away the anxiety. Take away the depression. Depression is real, y'all. These people are depressed. <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. One day you're here and the next you are gone. You are gone. <laughs> if you got people in your life, don't cause them no more stress. This is stressful all alone by itself. You don't need no stress added to it. <sighs> I can't even get my words together. Y'all, please stay at home. Take your vitamin C, take your mucinex, take your Tylenol. Stay at home, love on the people that's with you, that you quarantine with, like love on them. People are here one day and gone in two. Like some amazing things I've seen and you can't help them when they short of breath, there's nothing that you can do. But keep them comfortable. <sighs> It is absolutely nothing that you can do. When I say nothing that you can do, they breathe it like this. All they breath, and they can't get words out. And it's nothing that you can do if there's not a ventilator at a hospital ready and available for them. It's nothing that you can do. I can't sleep. I'm barely eating. Because you're just seeing it destroying lives. When you see something destroy lives in front of you and there's nothing that you can do, you can't turn left, you can't turn right. It's literally in God's hands. Like when there's nothing that you can do, it takes a toll on you. These people are depressed. They sad. 
They hurt. They scared. I can sing all the songs I want to sing, and I can say all the things I want to say, but they scared. They can't have their family members by them, and there's nothing I can do about it. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like Quinn just going to sit home, but I know if they don't have nobody, they got me. And God didn't put me in this position. He didn't put me at this place in time for me to give up or for me to be weak. But God, I just ask that you heal the land right now, God. Please, God. Whatever's going on, God, I know you can just wipe it away with one word. God, just take it away, man. This is real. One of my songs I like to sing to my patients before they take their last breath <clears throat> is exceedingly abundantly above all you ask so According to his power that worketh in you. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. And I just try to encourage them to know that God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Yes, 